Hello, Tobin is around here and today I will show you how to install a server for RL Craft. It is the popular mods going around and with this you learn how to play with your friends. And you need these three files in order to make a, a Minecraft server. You need to go to this uh, curseforge.com and just search RL Craft in the, the Google and download the server pack which is this one just press there and you will need the uh, minecraft forge as well uh, remember that you need the correct uh, minecraft forge version if you watched the uh, uh, single player mod installation in the last video you will probably already have this remember to choose this version and download the latest installer you will also need the latest uh, minecraft version and now we just have to create folder for the RL Craft uh, server. You can type whatever you want uh, for the for folder to be. Then you need to open the Forge uh, installer. And uh, you want to install the server now. And here you need to locate the folder you just made here which is placed on my desktop just open that and press uh, OK maybe it takes a little while depending on your computer Yeah, it's successfully downloaded. Open the server uh, place. Now we need to make a bat file. With this bat file, you are able to run the server just by pressing this uh, uh, executor. In here, you will need to paste uh, the run command to open the jar, uh, jar file. And uh, I will leave this uh, text in the description below so you can copy it and paste it in. Here you need to change everything to your computer spec. In my case uh, I need to run a bit more because this really takes a lot of resources of your computer. So you need uh, as much resources as you can dedicate for this server. And now um, you will need to paste this name inside of uh, this uh, this command because uh, if not uh, the jar don't really know which one of these we are going to execute. When everything is edited correctly you can just save the bat file and run it. It will ask about uh, something named EULA, uh, which you have to agree on. So just go into this text file and set it to true. And save it. Run the bat again. And then it will successfully generate all the server files. Uh, after uh, you are done with... Uh, everything starting up you can install the mod remember to shut down the server by pressing stop okay so now we have a mods folder here we downloaded the server uh, pack from uh, the website just open this go to your uh, core uh, folder the root folder of your RL Craft server and just drag everything over. Replace everything inside. And now we can run the server again. This will probably take some longer time as it needs to initialize all the mods.
just ignore all the red and yellow texts those are just warnings not uh, errors It will tell done or finished when uh, there. At least uh, it said the done here. I can't really find it. Um, another way to see if everything is working. You can just say in the console, hello world. Okay. Now your Minecraft server is online locally. And we need to do port forwarding in order to use this server. Just shut the server down. We also need to edit the server properties. You can edit wi it with any uh, text editor you like, but I will choose Notepad++. Inside of here, you need to paste the local IP of the computer which is running the server. And you will paste that here. And to find that, you will type CMD. And you, inside of here, you type IP config. And you paste the IPv4 address, which is in my case, this one, inside of here. I think it was 28, wasn't it? No, 27. When you save this now, your world is ready to be played uh, uh, on the same network as you are. So if your friend is uh, in the same house as you, you can play on the server. But if he's on another place, on another network, he cannot. So that's why you need to port forward. And uh, by default, you need to port forward this server port in order for him to connect successfully. Okay, so to start the port forwarding, we need to know the default gateway so we can access the router's service. And um, by that, just find the default gateway here and type this in your browser. And when you type that, it will look something like this where you have a login panel and the password. Uh, in some cases, you need to type the same uh, as a username in the password. Uh, it could be 12345, and you have to look that up because you, you will probably have another uh, router than I have. So, in my case, it's home as password. Inside here, you will need to do whatever you can to find the port forwarding tab. I had to go back to the home location and then go to um, the firewall. Uh, it, in some cases it, it is located in the security tab. So here do you see the port forwarding. I already have some uh, servers going here and uh, this is how it basically looks like. You want to make two of these, one for TCP and one for UDP. Uh, so just type like uh, rl craft server um, and then start with tcp then you will need to type the internal host which is the internal network computer ip and uh, that is basically the ipv4 address so just type the ipv4 address of the computer in um, here you you don't uh, need uh, this one external host so just type a star there if you can choose that and then you type that uh, like here type it here i will just copy paste this and then you type uh, the port on both of these which is the minecraft port of the server just like in the um, properties uh, 
if you just started to learn how to host a server this would probably be this and if you already have a server port forwarded then i don't know why you're still watching this video but uh, then you need to port another uh, port or else it will be directed to the current server that's why we have different ports to differentiate between the servers that are running uh, so type this port here and then you add it and then we do one more for uh, UDP the same way it's basically the same and after, after you have added it just uh, hit apply and uh, your server should be now online um, but I just want to note uh, you need to know something about uh, public IP and uh, uh, local IP because if you are going to join now you need to join with your local IP for the server which is this one the 27 um, if you have other servers you need that then to type the port as well but if you only have one Minecraft server running you can just do this and then be able to join um, and uh, your friend he needs to type in the public IP and the to, to get the public IP you you may you basically just type well, what is my IP you go in here and your I IP should be here but I'm blocking this out because uh, you can find out where I live and stuff with this IP so just give it to the people you know uh, and they need to type this in the box here to join the server they all also need the same mods as well uh, so just send them the first video if you want to or else just uh, teach them and then you are able to connect so uh, if you're watching you're probably going to host the server so what you need to type in is uh, uh, this uh, IP your uh, local server IP and then the port but I have a different one so I type in this and of course you need to start uh, the server as well um, just go in to the server part here and run the bat. I've already done it. Uh, so I'm just going to connect. And as you can see, I'm able to join. And uh, your friend should now uh, be able to join as well with the pu public IP. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If it was helpful, please uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing to me as I will post more and you also help out the channel by subscribing. Thank you. Bye bye. My room. My so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.